Okay, dear student, let's see what is there in this question. A spherical planet has a radius r naught. The graph shows the variation of gravitational potential due to the planet with the distance r from the center of the planet. Okay, so the radi variation is there. So it was clear the variation will be there. We know it from the topic itself. So in the theory classes, we have done this, that the graph will be looking like this. Okay, let's see. What is the escape speed from the surface of the planet? So you want to find the escape speed. So escape speed, uh, we will first find the potential at the surface. So what is the fundamental of escape speed? We will first find the total energy at the surface of the planet. And uh, we, will, we will assume that that is negative. And so when that much of the energy is given to it, the total energy becomes zero. Zero total energy means that the body is at infinite distance. That is the concept. So doing it step by step, just a moment. Kinetic energy at this point is zero because the rocket is now sitting on the planet. So with respect to planet, there is no kinetic energy at all. But the potential energy will be given by the mass into the potential at the point. Potential here, we can read it. It will be minus 5, 10 raised to power 6. Joule per kg. What do you mean by that? <clears throat> For 1 kg mass, 5 into 10 raised to power 6 joule of energy has to be given to the body, which is 1 kg in mass. This much energy has to be given to the body so that the total energy becomes 0 and the body goes to infinite distance. So now kinetic energy is 0, so the total energy can be found like this. M is taken as 1 kg in this question, so that is not a matter. This is the potential. So we can clearly say that the potential energy becomes negative 5 into 10 raised to power 6 joule, even if I'm multiplying it with 1 kg. So this is the potential energy. What is the kinetic energy? The kinetic energy is 0. Potential energy is negative. So there is something total energy. So how much energy should be given to it so that the total energy becomes 0? So you will say that we have to give like additional kinetic energy we will give, which will be 5 into 10 raised to power 6. This much of the energy will be given to the rocket so that the total energy becomes 0. Now, this is equal to half mv square. And the question is, what is the speed? So you want to find the speed. So m is taken to be 1 kg. So this 2 goes to the other side. It will become 10. 10 raised to power 7 is equal to v square. It means v is 10 raised to power 7 square root. So it can be written as this 10 raised to power 6 square root can move out of the bracket. It will become 10 raised to power 3. So that will be the square root of 10. Square root of 10 is approximately equal to 3. Like we are doing it without calculator. That is why you see 3 into 3 is 9. 4 into 4 is 6. So for 10, it should be 3.1 something, isn't it? So this will be approximately 3.1 10 raised to power 3 meter per second if this much of the velocity is given to the body at this planet the body will never return back it will go out of the gravitational influence of the planet let's see what is the answer now so i told you 3.1 so they have taken it to be 3.2 approximately 10 raised to power 3 so c should be the correct answer and according to the mark scheme yes this is how we do this i hope the things are clear if there is any other uh, problem you people can please mention that in the comment section I would be replying no problem with that okay this one, thanks for watching this is professor Varun. please join the youtube channel if you want to watch the lecture series for all these topics all the best